Starting things off in the morning, we had a 5% hail risk and a 5% wind risk, making this a marginal day, and there was no tornado risk. So with Cape, we had 2,000 to 2,500 joules of Cape in some areas, and then for shear, we had 100 to 200 of 3 kilometer SRH. At 500 millibars, we had some northwesterly flow as we were on the backside of a trough, and then at the surface level, we had some very weak winds out of the south. To start the chase off, we started in Raleigh and started heading up north towards Danville. As we entered Danville around 5 o'clock, we knew we were going to target this supercell right here that is being circled. But we are two hours away from it. As we started getting deeper into Virginia, we could see the supercell and it looked amazing. I mean, look at this shot right here. We started making some great time and at 6 o'clock, we were starting to get close to the storm and our target was north of Phoenix, so that way we could have a great view of this cell. 6.30 we arrived at our target, but we noticed that this supercell formed with other supercells, and it kind of turned into a multi-cell. Okay, watch out for ants, by the way. Don't use frogs. You know what happened. This was our positioning, and we decided to stay for a couple minutes to get some great shots. Then at 6.50 we decided to get a move on it as that new cell on the left near Lynchburg is starting to look very very strong and it could even produce a tornado. As we got closer to the cell it became more apparent that we need to take 501 if we want to have a good chance with this cell but 501 could go right through the hail core so it's going to be risky. We are driving down 501 and the road in front of us is very dark and as you can see our position right there we are definitely closing in on the storm. As we are driving down 501, you can start to see this massive supercell take place. This entire huge thing that you see in front of you is the mesocyclone, and the lowering on the right is called a wall cloud. We turn left and we are in position for the mesocyclone of the storm to overpass us, so we're trying to get some shots before that happens. Oh my god! Oh my god. No. Hey, stop, stop. Go farther, right farther north! Five. No, 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 more, more, more! No, it's fine. Hey, it's fine, it's fine. We can move, we can move, we can move. We're gonna get hit by hail here. We have time, 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 we have time. Stay on this road for like a minute, and then we should be good. The new severe thunderstorm warning, tornado possible, hail one inch, 60 mile per hour Okay, um, what about you? Good light. Face the GoPro! Face the GoPro! Is that debris? That's is that debris? Over there. No, wait. Wait, what's rising on the ground? Smoke from what? Fire. Caused by. Yo, Maybe. get the drone on that. Get the drone on that. It get is, the drone. It is, that's it is. fire. Fire. It's a fire. It's a fire. It's a fire. That might have been a tornado. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I had the drone on it the whole time. That's still the rotation. It's along this edge. It's along that edge. But we might want to go. Why? Because it's going to surpass us. Where what?
Right over there. Why is there a fire? I don't know, but right, I can see it. We might want to go. We might want to go. Hold on, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a little bit longer. Wait a little bit longer. Here, take the GoPro. Take the GoPro. Chat, we want to go. That hit the that hit power line. That hit power line. That hit power line. That hit power line. Launch. There's your inflow tail streaming in right there where the lightning strike just struck. And you got your RFD coming around the other side. Right there is your target zone. And then that's going to be passing right over here. That will be passing right over here. Do we get right under the... Do we get right under the wall cloud? Should we just stay here and wait to get right under the wall cloud? Look, you can see it rotating. This is the whole wall cloud. You can see it rotating. And that's the rising thing right there. Yeah. But I have a shot. So there's your inflow tail. I guarantee you I caught it. There's like one right through the middle of the wall cloud. Really? Yeah. So the, there's your inflow tail. It's right where you see those two, that little convergence. Yeah, see, so inflow tail and the RFD. What's up? Why? Why? Did we get in, did we go? Oh, uh, I guess so. Or do you want to just sit in the car? Here, I'll get it when I have a head on Uh, no. We should. I don't think this rear plate down there. Here, I need to land that drone. Okay. GoPro has terrible low light. So I don't think we'll be able to see anything. Here, put this back in the front. Yep. Is there recording at the front? No. Here's what looks to be a tornado trying to drop, and from this video you can see the tornado is circulating as it should, but then there also is a second mesocyclone closer to us that's going anticyclonically, which is very rare. It's 818, and we cannot follow this cell anymore because there is actually a river that is blocking our way, so we have decided to go for this new cell to just form to our north. This is where we position ourselves <coughs> uh, for this storm uh, as it is coming near us. It was hard to tell structure on the storm as it was so dark, but if you were the chaser in the white Chevy, you took the same road like five times, by the way. Also, that last photo that you just saw may have been a funnel overhead as we were uh, right under where any circulation would have been in the storm. That's it for the chase, but here's some analyzing of some of the photos. So this is whenever we stopped at the church first, whenever we still had light. So there you can see the structures of the storm if you want to read it. And this is the analysis on the tornado that is cyclonic along with the anticyclonic uh, mesocyclone.